Some people watching this video will no doubt be looking to get involved with Twitter for the very first time, which is great. The vast majority of you, though, will already have a Twitter account and will be tweeting away. The problem you may be facing is that you're not gaining the traction you want and perhaps it feels like you're just treading water. This is the status quo for a lot of small businesses and even for bloggers who understand the basics of Twitter but don't understand what it really takes to have their content explode on the platform. See if this sounds familiar. You created an account between one to five years ago. You started tweeting regularly at first, but you didn't really know what to tweet. Most of your tweets were things like, looking for great legal advice? Come check our site. You managed to gain 25 followers in your first year. It's year four now and you have 27 followers. After a while, you gave up and went silent on Twitter. Every now and then you give it another try, but quickly get disheartened. You don't understand what the hugely successful Twitter accounts are doing differently. If this does sound like you, then don't be too disheartened. The scenario I just described is typical of around 90% of businesses on Twitter. The problem is, Twitter success is not a matter of build it and they will come. To be successful on Twitter, you need to understand the psychology behind why people join in the first place. What's more, you need to have an actual strategy that's going to make your content appealing and shareable. Even then, success is unlikely to come overnight, although a few growth hacking techniques, and we'll look at those later, can help with this. But if you set things up correctly, You'll find that you can reliably gain followers on Twitter over time and this growth increases in speed gradually and exponentially as you gather more momentum. On Twitter, success begets success. Now get ready for the first sweeping statement and somewhat controversial idea in this video series. You won't be successful on Twitter without being successful elsewhere. Yes, this is a big claim and there are some exceptions to this rule. Some Twitter users are so witty and so inventive that they manage to gain big followings on Twitter without any other form of digital marketing. But in most cases, well, we follow someone on Twitter because we're already interested in them or at least in the topic they're covering. A Twitter campaign is much more likely to be successful when it's built synergistically with the right Facebook page, the right blog and the right branding. To this end, you should think of your Twitter account primarily as a way for your fans and visitors to stay up to date with your business and with your industry and as a way for them to subscribe to your content when they decide they want to see more of you. And remember too, People don't tend to become fans of a brand after a single interaction. They need to have multiple interactions with your brand before they'll start to get a full understanding of your mission statement and see what you represent. What's more, they need to see you multiple times before they'll remember you properly and thus start seeking out your content actively. This is why many digital marketers swear by the maxim that you should aim to, quote, be everywhere. Now this means having accounts on all the big platforms and having a strong consistent branding all across them. So how do you accomplish this? Well perhaps these tips will help. First of all you want to create a strong logo that you're proud of. Use this as the heading on your website and as your cover image on social media accounts. You should choose a name that's the same as your company name or at least echoes it and again use this on all of your social media. You should sign up to as many social media accounts as you can and I'm talking things like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Reddit, Tumblr, Vine, Google+, LinkedIn, Pinterest and any others that you can think of. Link all of your social media accounts, include a button on your home page that makes it easy for people to find your Twitter feed and to sign up to it. You should also have a strong focus and mission statement. 
Make sure that the topics you write about will always be of interest to the core audience that you're targeting. So let's say that you have a website on fitness that has a unique slant towards the outdoor lifestyle. Perhaps you sell training shoes and other equipment as your main form of monetization and maybe you have a blog where you write about things like trail running and different exercise regimes. The idea then is that people will find your website through Google and perhaps other means like social media and when they land on your page they should immediately see what you're all about from your strong logo and design language. This should then indicate to them whether they might be interested in what you're writing. Hopefully they'll read your content and enjoy it and this will leave a good impression on them. And then they'll leave. Now, if you haven't thought about your branding and you haven't got a Twitter account set up, that might be the last of it. But if you've done things right, eventually they'll discover your content again somehow. Maybe they'll land on your website again, or perhaps they'll just see one of your tweets on Twitter. Either way, they might now decide that what you're discussing is interesting enough to read on a regular basis, and that they should at least click the Follow Us on Twitter button on your website, or perhaps follow you directly through Twitter if that's where they've encountered you. What's more, when they visit your Twitter account, they should see that you have the same professional looking logo, the same great looking cover image and the same cool username. All this will help to cement the idea that you're part of a professional outfit and that you're an authority in your niche. Of course, it might take many more interactions than just the two before they get to this point. Likewise, it might not be through Twitter that they find you the second time or that they decide to follow you. It could just as easily be through Facebook or Google+. The point, though, is that you need to keep hitting them with your strong branding and great quality across multiple platforms to get them to consider following you. Twitter should be one part of a much broader marketing campaign, and it should start with your logo and your company name. In the next video, we'll examine some ways that you can create synergy between Twitter and other social media.